Welcome to my channel, God's Grace and Mercy. The purpose of this channel is to share the words of God to the following persons, those who want to join the kingdom of God, the newly converted, and also to edify all the believers of Jesus Christ. Today's topic is Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Our scripture text is taken from Matthew 6, 25 to 33, and it reads, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, now yet for your body what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than remnant? Behold, the folds of the ear, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into bands. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you by taking thought can add one more cubic unto his statues? And why take ye thought for remnant? Consider lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe you, O ye of little faith? Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewith shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Our main text is Matthew 6 verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. The focus is, when we put God first in our lives, we will allow him to help us order all the other aspects of our lives. Lesson overview. As Christians, we should ensure that first things are placed first. When we think about something being, being first, we think of it being top priority. Number one, are it being before everything else. When it comes on to the kingdom of God, we are instructed to pursue this first, and only then will other things be added. God's kingdom is eternal, but the things of this world is temporal, and as Solomon, the wisest man that ever lived, put it, the natural things of life are but vanity. Today they exist in glory, and tomorrow they are now. They are no more. Pursuing the kingdom of God can be equated to seeking life and salvation and is something that should be done while we are young, vibrant, and energetic. Since this is the time when we can give off our best, if we wait until we are old with little energy or vibrancy, our strength would have been wasted on something else rather than on the kingdom of God. Some people are good at multitasking, but no one is good at multi-seeking. Jesus has been teaching us that we have only one art, and that our arts will attend to what we treasure. Essentially, we can treasure God, or we can treasure the things of this world. Mormon Above all, when we lay up treasures in heaven, the kingdom, they are safe forever. But that which we lay up on earth can be stolen or destroyed. To not seek God first means that we would be seeking something or someone else first. The longer we spend trying to make life without God, the harder it becomes for us to make God relevant in our lives. The devil is always in the wing, vain to make himself and the things of this world a lot of our lives and ultimately to destroy us. 
Hence, the reason we need to seek God first so that He can direct our lives into true success and life over death and hell. To invest in earthly treasure is a way of worry. Since we cannot see behind the physical, we despair when we cannot see a way out and pay check is too and the paycheck is too small to supply our needs. But as the lilies of the field and birds of the air themselves testify carefree, abundant to God's care and provision is the true path to peace when our flesh rises up and cries out. We can't survive on prayer and good intention. How will our daily life be? Jesus, Jesus said in Matthew 6, 31-33, Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewith shall we be clothed? For after all these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. To, no, to not seek God, to direct our step, is a lack of faith and trust in God. Jesus said to seek first the kingdom of God in his sermon on the mount. The verse's mean, meaning is as direct as it sounds. We are to seek the things of God as a priority over the things of the world. Primarily, it means we are to seek the salvation that is inherited in the kingdom of God because it is of greater value than all the world's riches. Does this mean that we should neglect the reasonable and daily duties that help sustain our lives? Certainly not. But for the Christians, there should be a difference in attitude towards them. If we are to take care of God's business as a priority, seeking his salvation, living in obedience to him, and sharing the good news of the kingdom with others, then he will take care of our business as he promised. And if that is the arrangement, why worry? But how do we know if we are truly seeking God's kingdom first? These are questions we can ask ourselves. Am I seeking him now that I am young, vibrant, and energetic? Or do I wait until I am old and have lived a full life? Where do I primarily spend my energies? Is all my time and money being spent on goods and activities? That will certainly perish, or is it in the service of God? Considering that only the latter has eternal value, we are to take heed. Believers who have learned to truly put God first may then rest in this holy dynamic, and all these things will be given to you as well. The scripture offers many examples of young people doing the work of the Lord and thus demonstrating purity towards the kingdom of God. Noah was ten years old when he was ordained to the priesthood by his grandfather, Methuselah. Now, Melchizedek was a man of faith who wrought righteousness, and when a child, he feared God and stopped the Months, months of lions and quench a violent of fire and thus having been approved of God he was ordained an high priest after the order of the covenant which God made with Enoch Genesis 14 26 27 Jovis, Joseph was sold into Egypt as a youth of 17 years old and already he had dreams from the Lord Genesis 37 1 the 28, it was this same Joseph who refused to bring, disrupt the kingdom of God when he refused to sleep with Potiphar's Potiphar wife. Samuel ministered before the Lord being a child, and the child Samuel grew on 
and was in favor both with the Lord and also with men. 1 Samuel 2, 18, 26. Now Samuel did not yet know the Lord, neither was the word of the Lord yet revealed to him. But one night the Lord called him, and he answered, Speak, for thy servant hear it. 1 Samuel 37, 7-10 David offered to fight Goliath, the Philistine giant, who was challenging Israel. But King Saul was dubious because David was so young. The Lord... David said, The Lord that deliver me out of the pond of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. First Samuel 17, 33 and 37. Our enemy says, Youth for pleasure, middle age for business, old age for religion. The Bible says, Youth, middle age, and old age for your creator. Seek ye first the kingdom which means it's while we are young that we are to pursue the kingdom of God. It is especially in our youth, young, invisible, with lots of ear in our favor, that we are most inclined, determined to forget our Creator. However, it is especially in these years that we must work to remember our Creator and seek His directions as these years can pretty much determine how we live the rest of our lives. It is while we are young that we have our energetic, sensitive, teachable, and most dangerous years. So then, what better time to seek the Lord? Conclusion We should concern ourselves with spiritual things, seek the kingdom of God, so that the earthly concern will be added unto us. Essentially, we will be provided for as is stipulated in God's word, to seek the kingdom of God is to intentionally focus on fully experience God, good relationship with God through the avenues he has provided such as prayer and meditating on his words. However, seeking the kingdom of God does not stop there. It also includes sharing with others through evangelism, practical giving, and expressing love to others through whatever means God has specifically gifted or direct us. Essentially, we should do it while we are young. Again, the context of Matthew 6 theology is important for the next sentence. Jesus speaks is, Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow. Matthew 6.34 Seeking God's kingdom does not mean the rest of life will be fixed, but it does mean that we can have the surety necessary to keep in perspective the power of God over our lives, reducing our need to worry, get stressed, and get sick. I hope this video helped you in any form or shape. Thank you for listening. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.